Hey, welcome back guys I hope you enjoyed that little first little presentation I didn't want to say anything because uh, for me I was kind of like in my feelings to help some guys get into the moment it was like a beautiful sight to see 109 boats together uh, one man becoming one with the water one with his machine yeah. uh, it was just uh, so amazing to me uh, we had an 8 o'clock start uh, once all the boats got together and the thing about it is uh, when you sound the horn you can't all take off at the same time you got to do your best to stagnate and uh, maintain a safe distance behind the boat that's in front of you because uh, it didn't take me long to learn that uh, with a 242 that you can creep up on a smaller boat pretty fast um, and, and stand behind that boat if you do that I recommend that you stay on the port side or starboard side like here uh, where you don't run up on the boat or possibly run in somebody run into somebody boat because actually when you get so close to a boat it's like becomes hard to control because uh you're on top of their wake and sometimes it's hard to turn left or right i recommend that you stay like uh 30 or 40 feet behind that way you'll have that little smooth white cap that you see there and it makes it easier for you to control a boat and maintain a safe distance where everybody's safe
For some of you guys that are not familiar with the channel markers, if you see a red and green channel marker, that red and green means stay in between. You don't want to go outside that marker because you don't want to run into shallow water and possibly damage your boat or get stuck. In the video ahead, you can see that I approach a large tree branch, which means there's possibly a, a larger branch or a tree submerged up under the water. Um, this is one of the topics that they talked about at the captain's dinner. That's why it's very imperative that you be there because they did told us that it may be logs or trees floating to be careful. They kind of give you warning of the dangers that's faced in the water so you can have a um, good ride and you know return back home safely. Since this was my wife's first experience on the boat, I had to get someone else to help me set my anchor. This is James from Texas. He was kind enough to help me and actually we kind of hung out all that day. Uh, unfortunately, we did have to move again, 
because the other half of the crew was on the front part of the island. So once we moved over and everybody got settled, uh, we all began to have uh, beef jerky and beer for breakfast. Step one, wake up, really gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day So life ain't easy, yo I think there's a reason, though Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride, uh Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds, uh They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost, uh yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause it's Chasing stars and holding you 
can't see the end, but we'll see it through. last event of that day was Dave and Buster's. Will and Michelle actually rented out a section in Dave and Buster's to cater us food uh, give us a rich band to play games which was actually pretty cool but I was exhausted. I'm not for sure if it was the sun or getting up early to prep the boat but we got in there and we ate uh, had a couple of drinks um, they took pictures around by 8 39 o'clock. I was too tired to wait so I wasn't able to get in the photo. Um, I actually went back and got ready for the next day. 